Greetings, friends. Welcome. Today, we're looking at Git Merge and Git Rebase and how the history in your repo will differ depending on which one you choose to use. We're going to be using Visual Git here. So this um, this graph on the right, that's kind of the end state we're going to look for with uh, both the, the Rebase and the, re and the Merge. But I'm going to clear that down for now. I've got, I'm just going to create an empty, um, empty repo here and get that visualized over on the right here. So those ones can go. And this will be our empty one. We've got nothing in here at the moment. So we're going to try to rebase first and see how the history looks, and then we'll do the merge. Um, right, so I'm in C rebase. Let's go uh, in there. Rebase. Just make it a little bit bigger. Um, so, right, let's create a file in here. Call it stuff. And we'll add that into our repo. And we'll commit that. And we should see that appear now in the visualization here. So this is going to help us see quite what is going on internally within Git as we do this. So it should help the understanding. Now, we're not really going to need um, the tree and the file in here. So I'm just going to hide those because we're only really interested in the branches and the commits. Um, right, we've got that in. Let's create, let's create a feature branch now. So let's do Git um, checkout. And we'll call it feature. And we'll create a file there as well. So let's have a feature file. And add that one. And commit is feature. Let's see if that reflects over here. So here's our feature branch, good. Master branch. So we should get a commit over here on our feature branch. Okay, so let's do one more commit as well. Uh, I'll just add a little, oh, let me clear this so we can see it. I'll add more features into feature.txt and then we'll commit that as well. Like so. And that should give us a nice little bit of data here that's not on the main branch. We should have two commits here now. And this one comes in like that. Okay, um, so let's go back now and create another entry on the master branch. So if I check out master and then we do more stuff and put that into stuff.txt and we'll commit that as more stuff. Then, right, yeah, so we're back on master. We'll have another commit coming down here in a second. There he is. All right, so this is the kind of scenario where you might want to do a merge um, or a rebase. We want, we want to get that extra stuff, the more stuff. Um, we want when our feature built on that or, or back into the master branch here. So one thing we do is the rebase. We can take these two. Um, one second. We can take um, these two here and rebase them by, which will basically create and have a copy of them here that will point back up here and all the way back here. And you'd have this linear history here when you do a rebase. Um, so. Let's have a go at that. How would we do that? We we are on master at the moment, so let's check out feature. So our head now should move over to feature, and then we can simply do once it moves that over, uh, we can do a git rebase and say on master. All right, let's see what that does for us. We should get two more commits that are identical. Um, but pointing over to this as their parent rather than the first commit there. So here they are, two more commits. Um, our feature branch has been updated to it. So you can see they've got commit feature, commit feature, more features, more features. So it's just um, a duplicate of them, but their parent is now this second commit more stuff. So we're now based off of that commit. Uh, and if we look at the um the log here with graph setting then we can see it's quite quite a nice linear 
Um, uh, doesn't want me doing that. It's quite a nice linear um, history in here. There's no branching. So that is when we do a rebase. Now let's have a look at the same thing when we do a merge. So let me come out of here and we'll go into merge and we'll do the same here. We'll stop this visual here, go into merge and kick off the visualization again. So we should get a new empty repo here in the merge directory and that should pop up over here. Oh, I need to git init it. Let's do that. Okay, that's picking it up. All right, so we're black. So I'm just going to get to that same position as we were. I'm going to create the stuff. I'm going to create the feature branch and a couple of edits on each. Um, so let's do stuff again. And we'll add that. Commit stuff. Then we'll do a create the feature branch and create the feature file feature.txt and add that one in as well and then we'll echo more features with feature.txt more features like so so all right let me hide the trees and the, the files again we should now see we've got our two commits here on the feature branch so let's go back now to the master branch and we'll do more stuff and put that into stuff And create that commit so we should have that same setup where we we did the rebase previously this time we'll do a merge and then check out how the history differs um, so here we are here right this time we want to stay on the master branch and we just want to merge um, feature oops all right let's see what that creates for us we should just get a single commit this time so rather than having the two commits we'll just have the one merge commit created here it is here um so that's one difference with the merge although you can simulate that with uh, the rebase you can squash them down at the same time the main thing is now though if we look at the log then we'll see that we've now got um we've now got branches it's showing the branches showing which commits were on each branch as well so <clears throat> this is our feature branch coming up here um, and the stars show us which branch the commits are on so this green feature branch you can see the star here feature was on that this 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 commit feature and more features were both on the feature branch this more stuff the stars on the master there on the on the branch on the left so depending on how you want your history to look um you can either do the merge or the rebase so it's kind of a personal preference uh, on which one of those you take all right there you go merging and rebasing uh i hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if not uh thanks for watching though and catch you next time bye